So I'm sure you're all waiting for an explanation. What you've just witnessed was a demo for the brand new SparkPunk sequencer. Now this is a module that adds on to the existing SparkPunk sound generator and allows you to make sequences of notes and to run those at different tempos, um, to slide between the notes, to play them at different durations, and basically to make short compositions and loops um, to get something a little more musical out of the sound generator. Um, but it has a few more tricks up its sleeve because it's basically just a sequencer for a control voltage, right? So there's no musical, uh, there's nothing about it that makes it just a musical instrument. It just plays a series of control voltages that you can adjust using these slide potentiometers. So in this case, I've actually used the control voltage out of the sequencer not only to run the sound on the sound generator, but to make different colors appear on this RGB matrix. The RGB matrix simply has an Arduino backpack on it that's uh, playing colors out to the screen depending on the voltage coming from the sequencer. And of course, uh, if the sequencer is running, as it steps across, it changes the colors on the screen. And if slide is turned up, then it slides sort of gradually between each of the colors. Another thing that I've done here is I've synchronized the uh, SparkPunk sequencer with my loop station. And I'm using the loop station, in this case, as a drum machine. So a lot of these guitar pedals have what's called a tap tempo, which means you can hook up another pedal to this one, and then you tap on that pedal, and it matches the tempo that you're tapping your foot at. In this case, I've actually removed the pedal from that equation, and I've replaced it with a MOSFET. If you remember, a MOSFET is basically just an electronic switch. So it's a switch that you push by giving it a voltage. And that voltage in this case is coming from the clock signal on the sequencer. So this rate LED is blink blinking at the rate of the uh, sequencer stepping. And the uh, loop station thinks that I'm just tapping the pedal at that rate. So as I adjust the tempo here, the tempo of my drum machine will follow that. <laughs> 